Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to find the area and perimeter of semicircles and quarter circles. So here we have a semicircle and here we have a quarter of a circle. So first of all I'm going to show you how to find the area of a semicircle. So here is our semicircle and as we can see we have a full circle over here on the right. Okay, So a semicircle is just half of the circle. Now we know that the area of a circle is equal to pi times r squared. So this here is for the area of a circle. Now we know from the pictures that this full circle, when we divide it in two, we get two semicircles, so one here and one here. So we're also going to do the same to our equation. So we're going to have pi times r squared, and then we're going to divide our answer by 2. And this will give us the area of a semicircle. So it's quite simple. We just need to find the area of the circle, and then just divide it by 2 to get the area of our semicircle. Next, we need to work out the perimeter of a semicircle. Now, we already know to work out let's have our circle here. To work out the perimeter of a circle, we do pi times diameter. Now, a semicircle as we said is half of a circle. So now, for the semicircle, what if we did pi times diameter and divide it by 2? Well, look carefully what that's going to give us. So, we've said that pi times diameter gives us the circumference or perimeter of this circle. If we now divide that by 2, we'll be working out half of the perimeter of this circle. So, we would in fact be getting half of this which is just that there. Now, that's not exactly what we want because in the semicircle we have another length over here. So we then always need to add this, this extra length in over here to complete our semicircle. So we need to plus another d because if we have our circle if we cut a semicircle, we can see that this here is the diameter because it goes from one side of the circle to the other side and through the center of the circle. So what we could say is that this length here, from here to here, is the diameter. Okay, so the formula to work out the perimeter of a semicircle is pi times d, we then divide it by 2, and then add d again. So here's an example here. So first of all, let's work out the area of this. So if this was a full circle, then this distance here on the diagram, it tells us it's 8 centimeters. So 8 equals the diameter. Therefore, 4 equals the radius. Now, to work out the area of this circle, we're going to have to do pi times 4 squared. But that's going to give us the area of a circle. But we want the area of the semicircle. So we need to divide this all by 2. And that's going to give us 25.132. So we can round that to 25.1. And this is going to be centimeters squared because it's an area. Next, to work out the circumference or perimeter. So if this was a full circle again, we know the diameter is equal to 8 centimeters. And we know the diameter of a full circle is just pi times d. 
Now, remembering what I told you before, if we just divide this by 2, then we're going to get half a circle like this. But we still need to add in the original diameter over here. So we need to plus another d on there. So now, if we plug in our numbers, we have pi times the diameter, which is 8, divided by 2, of course. And then we're going to add the extra 8 at the bottom. And if we tap it into our calculator, that comes out as 20.566. So we can just round that to 20.6. And this time, let's not forget, it's just centimeters. Because it's just a length. Right, next I'm going to show you how to work at the area of a quarter of a circle. So now, as we can see, from this circle over here, four quarters make one whole circle. Now, we know to find the area of a circle, we do pi times r squared. So that is, again, the area of a circle. Now, we also know that four quarters equals one circle. So to find the area of a quarter of a circle, we do pi times r squared, and then divide our answer by 4. And that will give us the area of a, whoops, a quarter circle. Now, to work out the perimeter of the quarter of a circle, as we said last time, the quarter of a circle, if we have four of them, we make a whole circle. Now, the, circum the circumference of a full circle is pi times d, okay? Now, what we need to realize is, if we did pi times d and divide it by 4, what are we actually working out here? So imagine we had our full circle. We've done pi times d, which gives us the total length round the outside of the circle. So we have our circumference now. We've now divided it by 4. So what does it mean? Well, what we have now found is this area over here. So if we got rid of this, because we've divided it by 4, then we've actually only found this part of the circumference. Now, we still need to find this extra bit and this extra bit here to make the quarter of the circle. So we need to add these two lengths onto it. These two lengths here, if we have a look, are just the radius. So we're going to add one radius and another radius. So plus 2r. Now we also know that the radius times by 2 must equal the diameter. So therefore, finally we can say pi times d divide by 4 and then add the diameter to it. So that there is how you work out the perimeter of the quarter of a circle. Okay, so if we had this quarter circle here and we had to work out the area to start with, let's quickly imagine we had a full circle. We're now going to split this into four. So we can see that we have this part of the circle over here. Now we can also see that five centimeters is this length over here, from there to there. So we can see that five is actually equal to the radius of this 
if it was a circle. Therefore, 10 is equal to the diameter. So first of all, let's start by working out the area. So area. Now the area of a full circle is pi times r squared, but we want to find the quarter of a circle, so we just divide it by 4. So if you plug some numbers in, we're going to have pi times 5 squared, and we're going to divide that all by 4. And if you put that into a calculator, it will come out as 19.6. And now area is all centimeters squared. So that's our area calculated over here. We now need to work out the perimeter. So now, we know that the perimeter or circumference of a full circle is pi times d. Now we have a quarter of a circle, so we need to divide this by 4. And if you remember, as I said, if we're finding a full circle and dividing it by 4, we've just found this here, from here to here. So we found a quarter. We still need to add on those extra two lengths there. And we know that that is 5. This is also 5. Now we know that 5 is our radius, as we saw from this diagram here, and 10 is our diameter from this here. So now we have our formula, which is pi times the diameter, divide it by 4 to give us the blue part, and then we have to add 2 radiuses to it, so 2r. We also know that 2 times r equals just the diameter. So now, if we just put the numbers in, we're going to have pi times 10 divided by 4, and we're going to plus 10 to that. And then that will give us an answer of 17.8. And there our units are going to be centimeters squared. So this here is our final answer. Okay, so now I hope you know how to find the area and perimeter of semicircles and quarter circles. Here are a couple of questions that you can try. So find the area and perimeter of each of these shapes. So a semicircle and a quarter circle. And I'll put the answers up in the next video, which will be titled as it is down here. Thank you. Good luck. See you soon.